one damn job. What's going on, guys, and welcome to another episode of Rail the Gutter. Uh, so this one's going to be kind of short, man. I'm going to show you guys what not to do when you decide you want to take a turn at really high speed so that way you don't eat shit too like I did. <laughs> uh, so on this day, this was a Friday. This was about maybe nine months ago, close to a year ago, give or take. Um, and on this day, I decide, you know what? I got off work. I feel really good. I re I was well rested on this day. So, you know, my, um, my overall speed, my average speed was actually pretty high on this day. And I decide, you know what? Let me give it a little more gas specifically on one turn that I usually take at a pretty low speed. Now, for some reason, I don't know why that came about, so I go ahead and do it. I look over to my shoulder. I decide, okay, I'm safe. Change my lanes. And at this moment, I was like, you know what? Just go left. Just go left right here, and I should be good. But for some reason, I say, screw it. I'm just going to go to the next turn, and I'm going to gas it. So I start going about 32, 33 miles an hour. I'm like, oh, crap, crap. I'm going too fast. I grab my brakes. I squeeze them, and boom. Back wheel locks up, and I hit the floor. So I'm going to show you guys what happened to my stuff after. My brifter is messed up. My saddle is messed up. My glove is wrecked. My arm has road rash. My leg has road rash. Both these things are there. And my hand is pretty bad. My hand actually took it the worst. Um, that was my left hand. I have scars from that. Um, luckily I didn't break anything, but yeah, man, that's what happens. Accidents happen, but this thing could have been avoided had I actually, uh, decided just to make a left at that first, uh, turn instead of sprinting for the other one. Um, I didn't counterbalance the fact that I also had a very heavy backpack. I had about maybe a 15 pound backpack on me. So I was going way too fast carrying all that weight and I didn't apply enough weight to my outside pedal. I was leaning in way too much on the inside and basically death gripping my brakes. So all of that together was just a recipe for a disaster. And that's why this pretty much happened. So I hope that you guys learn from this video um, on what not to do, man. So let's just go ahead and recap this so you guys know what not to do. One of the most important things is that you account that you have a backpack if you are commuting with it. You're going to have to count balances to apply your weight to the outside pedal. You don't ever want to panic break. Okay, that is going to be one of your worst enemies. You're going to lock up a wheel and that's just all bad, man. You got to feather them. And then the last thing, man, is that you need to commit if you're going to take that turn at a high speed. So with the other two tips, just make sure that you commit. And that way this thing doesn't happen to you. That's it. That's all I got, man. I hope you guys learned something. I'll see you guys at the next one.